few days ago when the sun was shining uh, and you were itching to skip work and yes. spend the day outside. You remember yeah, that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, well, the good news is those days will soon be here to stay. Yeah, and you know what would make those days even better? How about a furry friend by your side? Del Marvelize Maxine Benzel, an animal lover herself, stopped by the Humane Society of Wicomico County to show off some of their cuties. Max? Jimmy and Lisa, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that I'm here. On one hand, we're hopefully going to get some uh, animals adopted today. But on the other hand, I might be the one taking them all home. But let's get to it. Joining me now is Megan Kester. She is the events uh, volunteer coordinator here at the Humane Society of Wicomico County. Megan, it has been so nice out uh, this winter, so warm. Has that brought more people in? It's definitely brought in more volunteers. Uh, we've had a lot of walkers come in for the past week or so. A lot of students from SU just, you know, spending some free time in between class, uh, grabbing a leash and taking dogs out for walks. That's great. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's see some of these cuties that are up for adoption today. We're going to start with Skye. She's a, a pit bull mix, is yep. that right? And how long has Skye been here? She's been with us since she August. Comes. And tell us a little bit about her. Hi, Skye. Uh, she's very well behaved for the most part. Uh, she isn't good <laughs> with dogs or other cats, so she would definitely be best to be the only um, animal in a home. Okay. And how old did you say she was? She's about two. Okay. She's very sweet and smiley. Look how pretty. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, we have another dog here now. Another little cutie. Here she comes. This is a little Pomeranian mix, and his name is Corduroy. Is that right? Yes. And how old is Corduroy? Corduroy is 10. He definitely is going to need some grooming as soon as he gets adopted. Okay. <laughs> Look here. But he's 10. He's very playful. He's super sweet. He's just a little, little furry brick. Yes, he is. And he's been here for how long? Um, maybe a month or so. Okay. So two adorable puppies that need some forever homes. We also have some cats here, uh, and you told us about a, a funny cat. Yes. He has a funny name. I might say it wrong. Is it Salvatore? Salvatore Pescatore DDS. DDS. He thinks he's a dentist. He thinks he's a dentist. He thinks he's a dentist. And why does he <laughs> think that? So he's like either that or a little like parrot for a pirate. So he'll climb right up on your shoulder and he'll start grooming you. And as soon as you like open your mouth to start laughing at him, he'll just try to stick his head right on in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Funny. And how old is Salvador? He's a year. A year old. And how long has um, he been here? Um, I want to say he's been here for about a month or two as well. He came in um, almost bald, but he's grown his hair back and he's ready for adoption. And so going to be a great cat. So a great cat. <laughs> With a great personality. What more could you want? So many wonderful animals that need to be adopted here at the Humane Society of Wicomico County. Now I just need to go pick out which one I'm going to take home. And if you guys want to pick one out, you can either come on down here or you can visit our website, delmarvalife.com. Jimmy and Lisa? Uh, did we warn her before she went out there? That... No, of course not. Oh boy. So, Max, um, one of each. <laughs> <laughs> okay, while well, those animals are still looking for their forever home, here are a few that have found a home already. It's time for this week's Pup Day. We would like to say congratulations to these th three. Kane, Eclipse, and Delilah, all out of the Caroline County Humane Society. They all found a new home this week. First State Animal Center and SPCA also had a busy week. Sandy has been waiting for a long time for her, for her, her forever family. We are happy to report she's found one. Shadow and Ruger are also residents of First State. Not anymore. They've also found their new homes. Now, if you'd like to read more about any of the animals that we featured on today's Pet Connect, all you have to do is go to DelmarvaLife.com. And no doubt those uh, furry faces are in for a lifetime of love. You know it. You know it.